Current guns, I can't. Yeah, I can't really see me right now. We had a time last night. <laughs> the security protocols were very overwhelming. Hey guys, good morning. All refreshed. Um, definitely got to sleep in a little bit more today. We are actually with the um, Maasai tribe. So that's what we're going to be doing today, going into the village, learning more about their culture, their people. You like to boil water mm -hmm. and then you drink. Oh, like, like a tea? Yeah, like mint. tea. Mint. Yeah, mint. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is like um, mint. Okay. So basically you do yeah, okay. like tea. We use most of the plant to medicate ourselves. To do, okay. Like this mint. We'll show you several as we go. Okay, awesome. So this one is the olive tree. It's huge. If you yeah, I remember from um in the vlog when I was at the market, they used this to like make the wooden stuff that I bought. Then you soak in water. So when you take it with stomach upset, um, it will release the stomach upset. Wow. And also the elephant like the acacia. Oh, okay. The giraffe too. Sometimes when there are um, seeds and they blossom, they they get like stimulated. So they help to grow the, uh, the mm. acacia when they eat, they poop, it oh. grows again. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh, so it's to die. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. wow. So do you guys do this by hand so to do the no, dye? No, no, no. You have to dry first. Okay. And then you have to smoothing for the stone. Uh huh. And then you smoothing and then you put oil from the sheep oil. Mm hmm And then you should put the. Oh, you so that's your how body. you. Okay. Oh, wow. oh, by the way, like green is the color for today, so kind of like each day or like each main day. We have like a color for the group. So, you know, we're quarreling a little bit, a little bit. So we just pretty much leave. What you say, what kind of English is that? We just left our um, area where we stay. So now we're actually just walking across to the actual village. So. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> question ask me okay okay and also in the village you love to you love to, if you want to join for us for pictures no problem ah uh, thank you and feel free and also in the village we live about uh, 200 people oh 200 yeah about uh, about one clan we don't marry each other because one family mm -hmm. so if you want to get married you don't get married for this village mm -hmm. because one clan mm -hmm. so the girl moves and the Boy, boy oh. Oh. my wife come from different oh, okay. my, my sister we moved different oh. okay. How did you meet your wife? Me, me, me I meet in the school. Okay. Okay. Helping me tighten my 
animals see you from long distance, mm -hmm. you don't come close to you. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's why you have bright shoes. Yeah. Oh. And also, and also, when you look all Masai, they have a stick like this. Mm -hmm. This is a walking stick for driving cows, and also for sometimes for fighting. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> But not ladies fighting, men oh. fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, no, ladies, no, we don't be ladies. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah, we started to rain, so we're gonna like go in the houses right now for shelter. Um, rain coming down. So we have one room here. Okay. This is for the baby animal. Oh, the animals. Yeah, this is the first room. In here. Okay. Gabe, you have any? So in the middle here, we have the kitchen. Okay. We have the fire here. Oh wow. And as you stay for some time, mm -hmm. your eyes will adjust. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So you said you guys only come in the house to yeah. sleep and eat. And eat. Okay. Yeah. Most of our activities we do outside. outside. Okay. Yeah. okay. So that's why it's it's dark all yeah, the time. It's dark. Yeah, okay. Because the we the flies will contaminate the food. Oh, okay. And mostly our food mm -hmm. eat blood mm -hmm. and we buy corn. Okay, you buy corn. Yeah, we okay. buy corn. We grind the corn to make maize flour. We can cook ugali. Do you know ugali? Ugali, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, mostly with milk. Okay. So she's seated in the bed for children. This is a bed for parent. Okay. And we have another bed here mm -hmm. for oh, okay. a guest. Okay. And behind you there is a place for the baby animal. The baby animals. We keep the, the baby animal for safety in the house. Okay. And also because we are, we, we separate with their mothers. So when we let with their mothers, mm -hmm. they suck and we milk. So we consume the milk. Okay. The question is like the fire. Yeah. Is this just like on most of the day? Like when you sleep, do you like just out it? Okay. Typically, the fire we make uh, when we are cooking. Okay. Uh, but when we are not cooking over the day, mm -hmm. it's just there. Okay. But, it's not, but uh, you can, flaming. you can. Okay, it's not flaming, but you yeah. can like just start it up. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Also, um, the fire we make uh, in the middle there, mm -hmm. outside. Yes. When we started in the first time we come to the village, mm -hmm. that fire is still the fire until the nine years is over. Oh, wow. Because when it's not in this house, mm -hmm. somebody will pick from this okay. the other house. So we don't have much boxes. And yeah. normally, um, to, when you have very many cows, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's when you have a lot of wealth. So these are where the How goats and uh, All sheep all. are. Mm -hmm. dance calling blessing song mm -hmm. okay because if you get a new baby mm -hmm. you have a uh, distance okay. and also if you give the name baby mm -hmm. you have distance also okay when are babies named like is it right out when they're born or? yeah we love to have ceremony if mm -hmm. you give the name baby mm -hmm. okay. all right so currently we are just in the area where the women of the village like you know sell different things so if you want to purchase things you can um when we went to visit like one of the homes basically the local families create their um they create like different um, souvenirs i would say that you can purchase to support the local family themselves but um it's a community is one clan so all the money stays you know within this community which i think is pretty cool um they do accept us and shillings kenyan shillings as well so yeah people just kind of walking around seeing um if they want to purchase anything some of the things are similar to what we had in the market walk okay like we walk and down like we are going to visit uh, one of their schools school is from seven to five every day not every day right no monday to five monday to friday seven to five yeah i could be in school from seven to five How you? <laughs> say hi hello 
our photographer and my girl, Irene. Irene, Irene a true Kirk. photographer. Exactly. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> We manufacture knowledge here. <laughs> so this is the school. Oh, so the community built this building and then the government funded this one. That's definitely a difference. Nice. So we're doing a donation uh, to the school. How did you like the experience? Very enlightening. Yes, I would say so myself. Yes. What about you? It was good. Yeah, it's very simple life for real. Like they and they just seem so like happy and just chill. I could stay. My dad will, will be twenty pounds. Go. <laughs> so the, the like average is ten. Oh, so that was before I told him how old I was. Oh, oh so he like he like brought it down. <laughs> so typically they give ten cows as a dowry. Okay, okay. I got offered twenty cows. That's before he knew I was thirty-five. Oh, it was twenty cows, and I had to give him ten kids. I negotiated down to ten eight. kids. I negotiated down to eight. Now you negotiating, girl, because I'm not having ten children. <laughs> So this basically here because um, I think it's an English guy back in 2000. He got killed by an elephant in this spot. So there's a little placard there. And this is what they created to remember him. Okay. Wow. Um, How do you shop in it? I have a oh, wow. ethnic shop. Oh. And the name of the audio is called Bouvalons. Oh, it's like ingrained there. I just want to say, like, that was like about two and a half hours or so touring the village and your girl bun. Ah, your girl bun out. <laughs> I would say you need to make sure you're ready for the walking. It's a lot of walking. Walking, walking, walking. Um, and I have to end up playing up my dress. I don't know if I told you all that. But, you know, they have all their livestock, everything. So, of course, gonna have manure and all that. So, just. Be prepared for that as well. It was really good. We did. We just walking back to the camp. Don't ask me what we're doing after this. I don't know. <laughs> Check in with y'all later. Bye. Good morning, guys. What's up? So I'm like, I don't even know if I like vlog last night, even the night before. I'll probably try to include clips. Um, if I didn't already, but last day in Masamara, already ate breakfast, all of that, packed up, ready to go, to head back to Nairobi. Um, it's gonna be a drive. It's a drive. Like it's literally like about four and a half hours, depending on if we stop. Probably take like you know five, six, five and a half. I don't know. When we were coming, we did do like multiple different stops, so of course it took longer. So I'm probably expecting the same thing. Um, this go around for this drive we'll see um i already have like all my shows and things like that i need to you know keep me entertained um on the drive down so i'll probably check back in with you guys when we are on well when we reach back to nairobi okay hey y'all checking back in it was a long drive from Masamara. Um, we didn't do too many stops as the last time, so we did get back like quicker. Just checked back into the same hotel we were in the first, you know, night or whatever. I did the room tour, so I'll definitely include those clips after this. Um, and they had stored our bigger, bigger luggage because we had to make sure that we can't like consolidate it. So they've already brought the luggage back here. So I have all my stuff. And we are going to go out to eat. I think we are going to be trying to get like some Kenyan like cuisine. Hopefully. I'm not sure. But not sure how much I'm going to vlog. Probably going to just try to eat and then start fresh um, tomorrow. It's going to be my last day. So yeah, that's the update.
y'all car and gone so i can't y'all can't really see me right now but food was busting busting okay shout out to finally getting to taste some kenyan cuisine at this local spot i gotta try to get a name but i can't see it right now because it's dark um okay i'm gonna get the name for y'all well alma yeah. what's the name of this place again it's called fiesta okay it's called fiesta place so you guys need to check it out when you come to kenya nairobi okay great Good morning, guys. I ain't gonna give all y'all the footage, but we had a time last night, okay? Perfect. We are now at breakfast, brunch, whatever, at this place called Barista. So this is my last day in Kenya. We literally have a flight to catch. Yo, what? Did you bring it? Or did I leave it in the lobby? Oh, the jacket. You did go in the room to get something. Yeah, this. So maybe you left it. Time to eat, guys. So, so one of us had to give all passport to get in here. By the way, like I'm gonna insult the kid with like the security, but I'm like, why we gotta show all passport to come in here? I mean, I had my license. I had my U.S. license. Oh, okay. I thought they were just passport. Me too. Oh, well, I at least had my driver's license, but. Well, hair is very looking fancy, so maybe that's why we don't know. Hey guys, I am here to close out the Kenya vlog, literally on Kenya. Um, it's Kenya, Kenya Airways, and I'm not gonna lie, the security protocols were very overwhelming. Like, when we were entering the airport, they basically had to get out of the car, go do a security check without our bags, then get back in the vehicle we were in the taxi. Then when we got to the airport, we had to go do a security scan. With our bags and everything. Uh, very good then evening, check ladies in. and gentlemen from the flight deck. You can. So I'm basically saying like, I don't know where I left off, but you know, go to the security at the airport, then check in. That was definitely a line. Then passport from control for like immigration and stuff. Then when we get upset on another security checkpoint with all our bags and taking our shoes and all that again. So I was just like, bro. We finally got to the gate, got some food. Um, and then now we are boarding. So again, I had an amazing time in Kenya. And I am so glad that I finally got to literally come to the motherland. And it was my first country in the motherland. So see you guys on the next vlog because I'm on.